Well, it looks like it's just you and me, Prime. The time for speeches is over, Galvatron. Let's end our quarrel right here and right now. Don't act surprised. This is exactly what you wanted. And I fight you not as the leader of the Autobots, but as the leader of all Transformers! Gary Chalk is an amazing Optimus, and for about a decade he was the de facto voice of the character. In fact, even to this day, he's still voiced the character in more episodes of animation than literally any other voice actor. He's played the character in Beast Wars, Beast Machines, Armada, Energon, and Cybertron. He is quite literally the Optimus of a generation. This is a good time to say that, for the sake of this video, I'll be talking about Optimus Prime and Optimus Primal as basically the same guy. I know that they're technically different guys, but for discussions like this where we're talking more about the performance, I don't really think it matters that much. Obviously, by making this video, I don't want to discredit or disrespect Peter Cullen, and I'm not trying to start the debate about who's the better Optimus. I really really hate the idea that if you like one thing, you have to dislike the other. I don't believe that, and I'm not going to try and do that with this video. That being said, something I see with a lot of older fans, and honestly a lot of younger fans, is this idea that Optimus Prime can only be played by Peter Cullen, that Optimus Prime can only be played by one actor. But I don't think that's true, I don't think that's true at all. Optimus Prime is not Indiana Jones, he isn't a character who I can only ever imagine being played by just one actor. He's a lot more like James Bond. That character is going to last a long time and there are going to be a lot of different actors who play that character over the years. Obviously, you can have your favorites, you can like certain Bond actors and dislike others, but at the end of the day, they're all James Bond. There isn't just one James Bond actor, there's a whole bunch of them. That's sort of how I see Optimus. Something I see a lot is that people really like Gary Chalk as Optimus Primal, but they don't really like him as Prime. Or, in more simple terms, he's a great Primal, but a bad Prime. I disagree with this take. Even with ADR, which will almost always hurt a performance, he still sounds really cool. I think he's amazing as both. Over the years, Gary Chalk has played Optimus as someone who is struggling as a leader, battling the monster within, making dad jokes, and desperately attempting to follow divine decrees. Because of this, his Optimus feels very human. He sounds like a real person, like someone I could genuinely know and talk to and everything. Obviously, the writing is hugely important in that, but I would argue that the performance is even more important. The performance is what sells us on that, what convinces us of the writing. Something he talks about a lot in interviews is how he tries to make Optimus a more human character. Gary's Optimus doesn't sound quite as awe-inspiring or awesome as Peter Cullen's, but I don't think that's a bad thing. It helps ground the character and makes him feel a lot more real. He's not so much a stoic paragon of virtue as he is just a guy who's trying to do the right thing. There was a lot of dimension to the character. He had the, there was human qualities to him. He had frailty and, and some weakness, but he had incredible strength and incredible compassion, which I think is great for all heroes. It's clear that Gary Chalk also understands the nuances of Optimus as a character. He understands the role Optimus has in the narrative, not just as a leader, but also as a father figure. Optimus was sort of father, boss, mentor, and, uh, and uh, disciplinarian all at the same time. In fact, Gary Chalk has even criticized Michael Bay's version of the character in the live-action Transformers movies, saying that he's too violent and bloodthirsty. I, I sort of got so mad at the movies, you know, I was so furious at the Michael Bay movies. When Optimus comes out and goes, kill them all, kill them all. Went, no, Optimus doesn't kill people. That's immoral. Killing is immoral. And uh, I, I was very um, disturbed by that. And sort of changed the whole animus of uh, of, uh, of the of that that legacy. It just upset. But beyond the performance and beyond the understanding of the character, Gary Chalk also just loves Optimus as a character. Since 2017, Gary Chalk has brought us holiday greetings in character as Optimus. Hi, I'm Optimus Primal. Now I heard that Megatron was wondering about my whereabouts in his last annual Christmas message. Well, here's the thing. You're a mean one, Megatron. And so that all brings us to today. Gary hasn't played Optimus in any official capacity since 2006. That was 16 years ago, and I think because of that, a lot of fans don't really seem to understand his claim to the role. It also seems like a lot of creators don't understand his claim to the role as well. Rise of the Beasts is just around the corner, and in that movie we will see Optimus Prime, played by Peter Cullen, 
interact with Optimus Primal on the big screen. Optimus Primal will be played by Ron Perlman. Now, no disrespect to Ron Perlman. Unlike a lot of celebrities who are cast for voice acting roles, Ron Perlman is actually an established voice actor and he's even played Optimus Primal before. That being said, it really does suck that we won't get Gary Chalk in this movie. I know that there are complicated logistical reasons for why this probably isn't happening, but it really really sucks that he wasn't even asked to reprise the role in the movie. Seeing the Optimuses of two generations interact on the big screen would have been incredible. Thank you all so much for watching. Originally, I planned to include this as a section in a video I'm making about Rise of the Beasts, but I decided that I'd make it its own video instead. This video was also completely unscripted, so hopefully it wasn't too chaotic. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and until the next time.